Hi all, welcome back to my channel. <coughs> Sorry. So this video we are going to talk about uh, uh, Terraform state file remote location. So what is the advantage you are, if you keep the state file in remote level? What is the disadvantage if you keep the state file in local? So, okay. So what is the state file in Terraform? So by default, Terraform stores the state file locally in the file of name called Terraform.tfState. In, Terra, in TF state file, so which contain all the resources and services information which was created earlier. What does it mean when you create a service by using Terraform? It will store the one JSON file, it will store the all the resource information, resource name, resource logical name, and resource properties in the in the form of JSON. That is called TF state file. Okay. TF state file very important. If you delete the state file, when you, again if you're trying to run the Terraform plan, Terraform is trying to create the resources again. Why? Because the state file is empty. The state file have, doesn't have any information which you created earlier. That is called a state file. If we lo lose the state file, okay, the infrastructure is available up and running, but the, when you run, if you can't manage again uh, coming days, okay, what is exactly this mean? So what happened? For example, what happens if you delete the Terraform state file? So if you it will remove the uh, Terraform state file and not physically destroy your infrastructure. So you can just like a Terraform state file, just JSON file. If you delete, it will go into delete. But your infrastructure is up and running. It's not going to delete your all AWS services, which is available in console. That's physically not going to delete anymore. Just to delete in the state file. Okay. For example, if you remove the AWS infrastructure from the state, the AWS is instance will continue running and but Terraform plan will no longer see that instance. I'll talk about uh, what is exactly, but okay, S3 bucket, uh, we'll do in the lab. So we'll cover all the things. So in S3 bucket, we already discussed S3 bucket name should be unique globally. It's not account level specific, it's entire global level. What are the advantages of the Terraform remote state? Uh, what is the remote state in Terraform? Okay, so it's so basically producting your state file which contain all infrastructure in infor information in the form of json file so local state file which works great let's say for example let's talk about uh, one example okay local state file it works great for single developer if someone working alone and project let's say for example you are working your own desktop okay you are building the services that's absolutely fine Okay, as long as uh, if if it, if it if if it don't delete your state file locally, which is absolutely fine, but you can manage infrastructure absolutely fine. But for example, but working in the same project, multiple people, but local state file doesn't work. Why? Because the local state file is going to stay in your desktop, but people is sitting around the global, different different locations. Then how we are going to manage? You build a you build a for example you created a few of the databases you created a few of servers you created a couple of storages, but you are in a holiday but you are uh, you are not available so someone has to increase the storage someone has to change the instance class someone has to attach the IAM profile to specific mm -hmm. user so in such cases but local state file doesn't work so we have to keep the state file in central way and everybody can access throughout the global that is a way the best way to approach when you're working with the AWS environment that is called a remote state file where we are sit sitting we are going to keep the state file into s3 bucket okay if we keep the s3 bucket if we keep their state file to s3 bucket everybody can access so uh, multiple people people can work uh, in same time they can manage the infrastructure they can destroy them infrastructure they can create the infrastructure so always keep the best approach uh, keep the state file in the remote location. Okay, so that's what I want to say. And okay, let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, to the lab. So I'm using. Uh, I have a. You can see we discussed previously. So how to set the profile by using CLA command. So I don't want to pass my any credentials uh, hard code value into the mod dot tf file i want to go the shared credentials so if i would like to suggest to watch my previous video then you can i discussed about how to get this credential in a static way and uh, environment variable and uh, uh, shared credential these are three approach available authentication 
So I'll suggest to go with always go within with the shared credentials. Okay, let me go ahead and create the one S3 bucket. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to create one new S3 bucket. Okay, if you look at remote S3, which I create a folder, which is uh, which I'm here. If, so remote S3, sorry, not this one. This is the remote S3 here. I have only one file. This is the where I'm using the Visual Studio here. You can see one one file available main.tf. Which is having my provider information and my resource. I'm going to create a new brand new S3 bucket. Let me go ahead and run the Terraform plan. Okay. Now I am here. Now I'm going to run the I'm using Terraform tool. So I would like to I I previously discussed how do we install install the Terraform in my Windows and Linux. I would like size to please please watch my previous videos, then you can understand. Okay. I'm comfortable with using my Windows if you are comfortable with uh, go with Linux. Okay. So now I initially successful when I run the initial all the plugins are completed now i'm run the terraform apply so if you go back and console you can see there is no s3 bucket at the moment available s3 is object level storage which is provided by amazon everybody can access enter global level if you have a credentials okay there is no unlimited storage uh, unlimited to keep the storage okay so if you come down you can see it's, it will take a few minutes of time So you can see now it's trying to create. Now when we say hit test, you can see the bucket is created. It doesn't have any objects available, zero objects available. Okay. Now we have a successfully completed bucket. Now if you can see here, there is one file which is created. When you run the Terraform, you can see there is a dot Terraform which is having all the plugins information, and the other file is called TF state. If you click on the TF state, you can see inside the which is having the JSON format. So what is the version and the output and resources? If you come the resources, the mode is managed by, and the type is, what is the type? I'm using the type called AWS S3 bucket and that is the logical name and the provider which I'm using AWS as a provider AWS. The all this information, when you come the resource air and air means Amazon resource name, each Amazon have come up with one individual unique name that is called Amazon resource name, which is having the bucket information. And where I created the all this, uh, rest of the things which is available here so this is called json file so when you create the service terraform it will come up with one terraform dot tf state file which is having the all the resource information okay which is good absolutely fine now what happened what happened if i delete the my state file locally now what i'm going to do now i'm going to uh, take this one i'm not going to take this one i'm going to rename this file into the let me rename this file let me go ahead and rename this file i'm going to rename it to uh, keep it as a, my old something okay so i have renamed my file so but still available but uh, state file always ending with the dot tf state but i'm reading as iphone world so which means so when you run the terraform plan terraform will think we don't have any state file why because the test state file name i renamed to iphone world okay now if i run the terraform plan again let's see what is going to happen okay if i run the terraform plan again let's see what is going to happen take a few minutes yeah now we can see again so now we can see you can see again it's going to create why because so terraform always think terraform always going to read from the state file why because we don't have any state file available i renamed the state file that's why terraform is going to again creating but when you say enter yes it will come up with error why because the bucket name which is already available my console okay so if let's say for example if i say yes uh, if i say yes again okay it's not going to kill it. It's not going to create. It's not going to create. It'll come with the error. The bucket name is already available. You can see the error is creating S3 bucket. Um, bucket already owned by you. You provide a request, so on, so on. So the bucket name is already available console. You can see the same bucket. We can't create multiple. So that's why, okay, let's say for example, now we can see the bucket is creating again. Now let me go back and rename the my state file to old. Okay. Original state, I mean, sorry, original state. I have renamed the okay sorry let me rename again here let me go ahead and quickly okay so the other state file which is created when you run the terraform net oh, you don't want that one let me take it out i'm okay let me take it out this uh, the old one 
so now the old one which is having the exact s3 bucket which we created earlier so we have in the all the information so let me quickly rename so we can the state file available now let me go ahead and run the terraform plan let's see what is going to happen so if we run the terraform offline So we, now, now, now we can see uh, apply completed resources added, resource added, why? Because it's going to refresh. You can see here it's going to refresh from the state file. Okay, it, it's saying the state file is having the this bucket ID information. What is this bucket ID? SBI Tech Vault. This is our S3 bucket information, uh, bucket name. So which is contained reading from the refreshing from the state file. If you go to the state file, so if you can see, if you can see already we have the bucket information name here available here s3 at tech world okay so that is that is a that is called the state file so state file is very important if you lose the state file again the same infrastructure is going to create based on the your tf start file if it is already available same name it's not going to create but in future if you want to manage the infrastructure you can't manage why because you are you are losing your state file if we have a state file, then only you can manage infrastructure. By managing infrastructure means you can modify the resources. I mean, you can add the storage. You can change the instance class. If you want to rename the uh, instance name, such a base that is called management. If you want to destroy, this is called all management. If you lose the state file, but you are not going to do anything, but absolutely fine. But some mistakenly, if you delete the state file, that's it. We can't revert back. Okay, there is other way, uh, Terraform export import. There's a different way. That's a lot of work we had to perform. If it is single resource, absolutely fine. But you're running with the 20,000, uh, 50, 100 resources. That's quite really tough, painful work to importing each and every resource. But I'll cover a little later uh, the Terraform export import, how we need to use. I'm going to upload later, okay? Now, I, 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 don't, I don't want to keep my state file local. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to... Uh, keep my state file into remote level okay i have already s3 bucket which is available so i want to keep my local state file you can see if you go inside we don't have any state file information i have one local state file that is called terraform state file which is having the json format now i would like to copy the state file from local to s3 if you copy local to s3 everybody can access global level all your team members sitting on the different locations everybody can manage this particular s3 bucket okay so let me go back and let me go back and uh, see how we are going to copy state file okay we have a uh, this is the syntax which is available if you want to keep the state file remotely i'm going to create quickly create one more file called state.tf so if i keep it here so you can see so what is available terraform back and s3 so region where i want to keep my uh, state file and the bucket name which i created earlier uh, terraform tf this is the bucket name SBR tech. This is the bucket I want to keep as a this is the file terraform tf state, which is going to copy encrypt and leave up encryption and profile. I'm using AWS profile that is called my AWS. Okay, let me okay. So let me go ahead and run that. Let's let me show now. If I run the terraform plan, let's see what is going to happen. If I run the terraform plan, saying so back end reinitializing required. So please run the way because we copied one. So when more one more file we placed and the reason backend s3 what does mean we placed one file here backend s3 so they ask you to do the init again terraform minute now if i run the terraform minute if i run the if i run the terraform minute let's see what is going to happen so if i run the terraform minute So you can see initializing the backend. It will take a few minutes. So you can see it's saying if you say yes, what is in? Do you want to copy the existing state file to new bucket? Pre-existing state file found while migrating local backend. So newly configured S3 backend. So if we say yes. Sir, so you can see now we successfully configure the backend to S3 automatically. So if you go and see here, what is happen? If you go and see the state file, so which doesn't have any information, 
Okay, so there is one more file which is created backend, but leave about this one. This is only taking the backup. When you manage the state file locally, if something changes, so automatically create the backend file, but leave about this one. Don't worry about this one. This is the actual state file, which is having all the resource information that is called terraform.tf state, that's the standard state file for the Terraform. Okay, if you quickly go back and see what is going to happen, your S3 bucket. If you go and see inside your bucket, so you can see there is a one file if you refresh again, so you can see there is one file which is created. You can see 12th December 945. You can see my timestamp is 946. So if I if I go back and download this state file, let us go on to what is going to happen. So if I download, if I open the, my state file, so which contains the, all of my bucket information which I created earlier, that is called SBR Tech World. I hope you guys understand how we need to copy the state file from local to remote remote if you have a state file uh, uh, here so n number of people can access anywhere within the world now look this is the this is the way we have to copy the state file from local to uh, local to uh, remote s3 so now we have a state file available remotely now what i'm going to do now i'm going to create one more service called so ec2 now i'm go, how i'm going to create the ec2 services let me take let me take the syntax how i want to create so if i go back on okay let me go back to how to create issues, sir. If I scroll down below, so how we need to create, let me take this syntax, how we need to create this is it is instance. So now I'm going to place here. So I can keep this one, but I don't want to keep this AMI. I want to keep it as a different AMI. So let me go back and take the AMI details. So I have already AMI available. If you don't have, quickly go then okay. So, one second. So I have already available in my variables, my previous audio. So this is the AMI which I am using now. So let me take this AMI, go back to code. So I'm keeping here all my variables and the T2 micro I'm using, that's the name which I'm using. Now by using state file, I'm going to create one more service. Let's see what is going to happen. Whether the it's going to keep the, steam, the new S3 new ec2 bug servers information locally or remotely okay at the moment you can see my state file is empty let me go ahead and run the terraform apply So you can see, you can see, go up, you can see, now it is creating, if you say, see, it's, it's refreshing the state. So it's going to refresh from the specific S3 bucket from remotely, it's going to create, when you say yes, sir. so it's going to create the, the particular EC2 instance. If you go back and go to the, my console, go to the EC2. If you go back and see here, so there is one hello world which is creating okay uh, you can see it's created successfully but if you go back and go back and see here so if you if you go back and you can see there is nothing information available my local state file if you go back to uh, see my console uh, my s3 bucket which is having the, all the information but the new state file so when you say yes remote so what are the resources is going to create that all the information going to keep in remotely. So, so in local file is nothing is going to keep anything. It's an empty one always. So if you don't want to, you know, you can take out this one. It doesn't matter if you go ahead and delete this one. It's not going to hold any information in back and this one also. We don't record anymore. Why? Because your state file managing locally, even if it lose your state file locally, it will be available as three safely way secured way so everyone can access entire global level this is the way we have to access uh, this is the way we have to manage your state file locally uh, sorry sorry locally and uh, remotely the best approach always going with the real, real world also nobody is going to manage locally everybody is going to manage the remotely that is called s3 bucket okay i hope you guys uh, like my video please uh, if you like if you like my video please do subscribe my channel and do if you have any uh, doubts or comments please post in my comment section i'm going to keep all the information in my comment section i'm going to keep all the code my github i'm going to keep all my information into the in comment section from there if you want you can take it thank you